Yo, bit of an unplanned video here today. It's gonna be something uh, pretty, pretty brief, but super interesting. <laughs> I haven't done a video like this in a really long time. <clears throat> Excuse me. So what is it? Well, <clears throat> I was on the Twitter X, whatever you wanna call it, and I saw Showzone tweet something out. It was very interesting. So. Uh, they tweeted out, we've been told a survey from SDS about MLB The Show Dynasty mode is being sent out. Uh, Diamond Dynasty, I suppose. That's what it means. Uh, it asked the users about their thoughts on some potential new features. Lots of images dropping the screenshots below. So we're going to read all of these things. These are all different ideas that are being uh, proposed, I suppose. Card Cosmetics, new alternative card skins that you can unlock to change the look of existing cards in the game. If you acquire a milestone Kenley Jansen card, you can also acquire a special alternative skin that would look different than the base version of the card. Okay. Okay. All right. Now, this is going to... I'm going to start off by saying this. This is... I've read some other things they have in this already. And based off of this, and based off of things I've mentioned in the past, I have stated this on my Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash Ochef. Check it out. We are live almost every single day. I believe that it's inevitable that they're going to have to go free to play at some point or that there's going to be some sort of battle pass or there's going to be some sort of paid cosmetics uh, functionality in the game. It's just the future. It's the way gaming is now, whether you like it or you don't. And they're look, they need to find ways to make money in the game that, that don't come at the expense of the players like packs, right? You don't want to lock the cards behind that. So you're going to have to have cosmetics. This is definitely the angle they are taking. And now this is... This could be them, but this also could be someone above saying, you guys need to figure out a way to make more money. Now, I don't think this is where their time should be spent necessarily until we find a new game mode, but we'll get to that because there are some suggestions for that in here. DD Commissioner, a new feature where the commissioner changes the core baseball and team building rules for all players in Diamond Dynasty every two weeks. Example being the DH is no longer available and pitchers must hit. As a user, you have influence slash voting power to help determine which changes get implemented. I think this is a horrendous idea. You're letting one random person decide what we all do. Some people have really stupid ideas and shitty taste. I'm just going to be honest. That's the way that is. People thought this switch hitter captain was going to be a good idea. We cannot have people making this idea. I think it's a stupid idea, personally. Uh, in all Diamond Dynasty for two weeks? No. Terrible. What if we get a terrible meta? That's just dumb. No, I don't know. I thought we had enough about telling people how they needed to play the game <laughs> with this past year. <laughs> one dimensional card series, a new card series where the player has very high attributes in one area of play while having poor attributes in all other areas. Example being great hitter, terrible speed and fielding. Kind of already have that. I don't really. Those are called home run derby series cards. <laughs> I don't know. I like that they're trying stuff, though. Gameplay visual unlockables. New unlockables that can alter visual aspects of gameplay. Example, being a pumpkin baseball unlockable that turns the ball in the game into a pumpkin. A golden cleat unlockable that turns your cleats into solid gold. It's pretty arcadey. I don't know about changing the ball, but I think that the cosmetics like gold cleats would be super cool for your whole team. New ways to unlock stuff. On to the next tweet. Uh, next reply. College Card Series, a new card series that celebrates existing current day MLB players by having college versions of said players. Example being Paul Skeens can have both Pirates cards and LSU cards. I think that's great. I think it's super interesting that they're going to be able to use LSU's uh, name as part of a licensing thing, but maybe they can make that work. Um, so I, I think this is cool. This is rather inoffensive. It's a cool idea. Double PXP tokens, new tokens that allow you to temporarily earn double PXP parallel xp they can be acquired throughout diamond dynasty and it can be used at a time of your choosing these should be already in the game this is an absolutely phenomenal idea this allows people to have more agency who uh, over who they parallel and how they do it if you only have x amount of time to play and you want to dedicate it to paralleling your player this is perfect you can save them up phenomenal idea it should be in the game yesterday it's so good purchasable perks new perks that have gameplay effects throughout diamond dynasty similar to the current perks in showdown Example being contact boost in the first pitch of the at bat. Each time Dynasty Core would have a set of perks that a user can choose to purchase and equip. I don't hate this RPG element in theory. It's just that if you make this purchasable via real currency, real like money, not in game that you have to earn and it's the only way you get it, that could be bad. That's pay to win. That's pay to make your team better. 
that would be the first element of this that'd be the first thing in this game that is actually uh, rather pay to win the only thing in the mlb the show right now that i could you can somewhat consider to be pay to win uh, and it's a reach is a really good pitcher because pitching is so easy that it'll inevitably put you in a much better position to win the game if you pitch john donaldson because you bought him He's going to be better than if you didn't have John Donaldson and pitching is easy enough to be effective. You could buy Mickey Mantle, but if you can't hit the ball, bro, you're not getting an all-star or it's not going to happen. So it doesn't matter. Pitch, but even with pitching, it's not that offensive. But I kind of like this idea if it doesn't take if it doesn't take real currency. But I like this, though. I think the game needs more RPG elements. The second that MLB The Show realizes the best part of their game is the amount of teams you could build, the team building, the cards they have and all the unique uh, offerings that they have and the individuality of each player, the better. Like, the sooner they realize this, the better, because that is what they do best, and they don't even realize it, and they haven't really leaned into it, I don't think, well enough. Uh, home run belt, a new WWE-style belt that is added around a player who had a home run their last at-bat, lasting until they recorded that bat without one. I mean, okay, I think that's gonna make the game look kind of goofy. Um, I don't hate the idea, I don't think it really adds that much, it's pretty niche, but... Okay, I mean, I wouldn't say no to that. Um, I wouldn't say no to that. Rogue card series. A new card series where the card starts at a low overall and slowly upgrades by completing missions with the player. Once all of the missions are completed, the card increases by one overall, then a new set of missions become available to complete and do the process over again. Now, this just sounds like evolution, but in a weird way. Uh, I'd have to see it in, in practice, but I like the idea. Any RPG elements, man, and I think the game needs more of it. I think it's what it does really, really well. So I, I'm down with this to see how it works out. Um, I, I will say I wouldn't do this without adding a new game mode first. PSA grading. Rare new versions of a player card of player cards that have similar attributes to the base card but have special card art. Example being a signature or embedded piece of the player's jersey similar to real life baseball cards in serialized limited quantities. These items will be scarce and in high demand for collectors in Diamond Dynasty. Again, gambly. I don't know if this is going to be tied to real currency, if it's only going to be DD stuff, but again, you could buy stubs and stubs will be used for this. So I don't know. I don't know if I like that in the game, man. If it doesn't take real money, I don't mind it. I don't mind it. This is a problem inherently. This is just straight gambling. Sometimes you could have something that, so for example, you could have prop bets in a game or something similar, but just not call it that if you want to be real. They're not even hiding it. This is just called prop bets. A new feature where you can make predictions on real life baseball events for rewards. Example being home run derby prop bets where users select who they think will win. And if they're correct, they can earn stubs or a really good version of the player they bet on. Maybe that's why they had that name that way. Cause it's not that offensive actually. I kind of like this. I kind of like this. Again, we need new game modes. First and foremost, the content team is cooking. Gameplay team, where are you at? Icon challenges. New gameplay challenges with unconventional requirements. Example being hit 100 triples, tally 10 home runs with players in less than 40 power, etc. That you can complete to earn vanity items. So just profile, badges, icons, uniforms, bat skins, or socks. I don't think this would do it for people. I, don't, I just don't think it's good enough. Uh, I think it'd be cool to get, but I think it'd be passive. I don't know if people would vote on this to be their first thing of choice. All right, moving on. This is where it gets spicy. Online mini seasons. Now, I've seen people suggest this, and I've shot it down as saying mini seasons is supposed to be offline. Now, a new way to play the mini seasons mode that allows you to join your friends or a random league to compete in an online mini season. Teams are created via fantasy draft and trades are allowed. Now, are, I have some questions. Is this that you're just co-oping mini seasons? Are you playing other online people? Because if it's just a league with a fantasy draft with your friends, that's just custom links, which we already had. I'm assuming this is that you get together and you co-op mini seasons. Um, okay. I suppose. I suppose. But I think they have to look at this from a different angle. And maybe I'll try and let this age and see how it, how it, if it ages like fine wine, I'll let it marinate. But I think what happened with mini seasons is that this was supposed to be for the offline player and it didn't feel fulfilling. So it it didn't get played. That was supposed to be something for the offline player. If it didn't scratch that itch, then going online with it seems eh. And I'm online. I'm, a, I'm biased towards that. So if this makes it more about online play, I guess, but it seems decent in theory, but it's double dipping into, co into custom leagues. So I don't know how that's gonna work. Clubs, a social group with Diamond Dynasty, within Diamond Dynasty, where you can collaborate with club members on missions and compete against other clubs for rewards. This is like pro clubs. 
I like this, but this is just co-op improved. Be very careful with this. Now, this is called a slow development or slow rollout. This is what co-op should have always had and been. They're going to tell you that they added a new mode in the game. When in reality, this is what co-op should have had. Co-op was empty. It double dipped into the rank program and it was buggy. Now this is good and it sounds fun, and it sh but it should have been in the game to begin with and we have to hold them accountable for that. You can't slow drip, slow roll out this and say this is a new thing when this is what should have came out in 22 with co-op, right? This is bad. That, that That's taking this long. Great idea, but we have to be able to see a little bit through this, right? And hold them accountable for that. It shouldn't take this long for something so that's been in every other game ever, right? FIFA has this, NHL has this, Madden has it to some extent, but I, I think, but I know FIFA and NHL have it. This is, this took way too long. 2K has wreck, you know? DD Stat Tracker. A new feature where cards from packs will have a chance to have one of their stats be tracked for the lifetime of the card and displayed on the front of the card. EG, a card can have a, a home run. What does EG stand for? I'm not even gonna lie to you, bro. I know it means as an example, but what does it stand for? A card could have a home run stat tracker displayed on it, which could increment each time the player hits a home run. Um, okay, that's cool. But what does it do for you? Is it just cosmetic? And it's, it just picked at random. Team Affinity Attribute Multiplier. A new attribute boost that activates if a player is showing affinity towards their favorite team. This is Team Chems. Example being equipped with their favorite team's bat skin, playing at their favorite team stadium, etc. These boosts may apply to all attributes or be designated to a specific attribute. This is interesting. I've kind of experimented with this in my mind. I've theorized that I think equipments would be better than captain boosts, where you can get one plus 10 or two plus fives, and you can put it wherever you want. These boosts apply, may apply to all attributes or be designated to a specific attribute. I don't know if this is what you can choose or if they'll pick it, but people have been asking for team chems. Um, I don't mind it in this capacity. If it's your all time teams, there'll be more things for them to balance, but I don't know. Just my thoughts on this really quick. I think it's pretty interesting. Showzone says, what are your thoughts? Note, we are unable to confirm these reports at this time as we haven't received the email to any of our accounts, but we were told some users really received it earlier today. They're having some trouble typing today. Um, been there brother uh but that's it for today guys i gave you my thoughts on this i'm interested but I, uh and all these i think they're all solid ideas i think i want to hear about a new game mode but i will say this optimistically these all seem to have a bit of a uh, of a fleshed out more complex intricate player rewarding type aspect to it which i'd like and this seems like this would be the beginning stages of something that would tie into a new game mode if this is how they're thinking about having some more intricate systems in their game more player um you know individuality customization ways to play the game this would all make sense right if there's a new mode that involves team building or salary caps or something where you have to use rpg elements building your team right using your brain this sounds like it and i'm excited for 25 man i really am i'll see you guys soon all right peace